Today we're going to be helping out an investor who got caught up in the alleged Clayton Morris Morris Invest scams. Al from New York, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me. And then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Weiss. Behind the scenes, we got Tommy cutting up the footage, making you guys all those fancy charts and graphs. And today's show, uh, this is for a client of mine named Al. Al invested. Al lives in New York, and he invested uh, with Morris Invest. And uh, according to Al... It didn't go well like so many others have claimed. If this is uh, the first time you've ever heard of what happened to all those poor souls who spent their hard-earned money investing with Clayton Morris and his company Morris Invest, in the show notes, I have put a link to some of the footage we've put out about that. We have made a three-hour documentary that highlights the entire situation because this isn't just uh, a simple story. Folks, this is a is a crazy situation, and uh, you know some estimates about how much money was lost exceed twenty five million dollars. Uh, in addition to that, we also have uh, some follow up footage as well because that film actually <laughs> led to that piece of shit Clayton Morris suing me for almost seven point two million dollars, uh, so he could try to scare me into pulling the content and uh, allowing him to just continue going on like none of these folks lost any money. And that, my friends, is not an acceptable outcome to me. So, of course, we have been battling it out with him in the court system, and I fully intend and fully believe that we are easily going to uh, get all of his fri frivolous lawsuits against us thrown out. Um, so that's that. But back to my guy, Al. Al, I'm happy. Number one, I'm happy that uh, y you faced some adversity in the business, but you didn't give up. You know, you're just you're recouping and, you know, you're you're making a shift, right? You're, you're investing with us. You're going with this particular product, the MLS search and analysis product. You're getting a very transparent product, right? For those of you that have seen the show, for those of you who haven't seen the show, I am about is cut uh, tell it like it is, as black and white as you can get. If I see an investment and I think it looks like shit, I will tell you in grave detail and colorful language why I think it's a shitty investment. Some investments that I tell you I think you should buy, I may want you to buy them even though I think that the particular tenants that live in them are total savages and living like animals. But I will break down... The pros and cons of every investment, because there's no perfect rental property anybody telling you there is, is lying to you, or they don't know what they're doing. No investment's going to be perfect. Every investment's going to come with risk. It's a risk versus reward. That's what this show's for. That's what I do. I give you guys just, I put it all out there. I put it all out on the table, tell you exactly what you're buying, what risks are going to come with that, and I give you the pros and the cons, man. And and that's what you need. If you're if you're going to buy a property in the ghetto, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If you know you're buying a property in the ghetto, you're paying the appropriate price for it and things of that nature. So that's what we do here. And Al, you are looking to buy uh, one or two properties. You have access to a home equity line of credit in addition uh, you also are pre-approved uh, for $150,000. You got more than enough money to fund the down payments. You're looking for something in the B or C class. Uh, low to moderate risk is what you're interested in. So what I have found for you, I found you two duplexes, both C class, both pretty darn nice in my opinion. And let's just jump right into the first one, man. 4601. Memphis Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 441. 
four four. This thing is already fully rented, and it is being offered by a company called Local. Uh, it is being offered for seventy nine thousand nine hundred. Each unit is two beds, one bath. They're both renting for six fifty. That's going to be thirteen hundred a month coming in, or fifteen thousand six hundred a year. Now, as far as the location, this is a C class location. Uh, we have hundreds, hundreds of duplexes in this area, just like this one. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, we have a couple on this street. I've owned. Uh, one particular property, uh, 4015 Memphis Avenue for years. I believe I bought that in 2013. Uh, we just recently sold it for $100,000. I think we sold it to an investor last year for about $100,000. Uh, and that had two tenants paying seven fifty. And it's like the identical property. So I'm going to run this analysis for you. Based on the current rents, which is six fifty a month, uh, but just know that whenever these tenants do move out, you're actually going to be able to up that rent. You'll be able to get seven fifty, no problem. But you can't just uh, get seven fifty like snap of the finger, right? You're going to, of course, want to turn the units over, and that's going to cost you some coin. Um, so that's why we're going to run the numbers based upon. Uh, the current rents, because there's no reason to remove folks, right? If they're already paying six fifty, that's good, man. Maybe we get them on a one-year lease, we renew it, and maybe we try to increase it like twenty-five bucks a at, at a time. You know, you don't want to just immediately go in, take over the property, and be like, "Yo, your rent's seven fifty right now," because odds are good one or both of those tenants is going to move out. And yeah, when you get a new tenant in there, they're going to pay an extra hundred bucks a month. But dude, that don't make no damn sense. Turnover is what kills your return, not an extra 100 bucks a month. You do not want to create artificial turnover. These are C-class multifamily assets. You're going to deal with enough turnover as it is. That's just part of the business. It's the nature of being uh, a C-class multifamily landlord. People are going to move in. They're going to move out. Nobody dreams. Nobody wakes up in, in the morning and goes, man, I hope today is the day that I get to live in Al's $80,000 duplex from here on for the rest of my life. Dude, that's just not how it rolls, right? Uh, so you got you to gotta think of that. So be smart, man. This thing is going to pencil out a solid return right now. So don't, don't be crazy. Don't try to remove that. So if you picked it up at 79.9, which I absolutely think you should, and I think we got to go in hot, man, just boom, 79.9, make our offer 79.9, no messing around, contingent on inspection. This is a great price. I see no reason why the listing agents won't get multiple offers here. If we're doing that, we're bringing in 1300 a month, what are we going to be spending? Well, we need to budget 65 for repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment, CapEx items. Now, repairs and maintenance. It goes back to what I was talking about, creating artificial turnover. You're probably not spending 65 bucks 12 months of the year. You're more than likely spending zero for a very long period of time, and then boom! You got a three, four, five thousand dollar turnover when your tenants move out. Uh, that's also why you're uh, calculating sixty-five. You're putting that in your pocket every month, knowing that when vacancy and non-payment of rent rears its ugly head, you know you're going to be missing out on some rent for a month or two. Why, uh, you know, we look for new tenants and we fix things up, or you know, it happens. You know, sometimes the tenants they stop paying rent, but they don't move out. We got to evict their asses. Uh, so that's all part of the game. Capital expenditures, that's you saving for your big ticket items, furnaces, hot water tanks, uh, roofs, things of that nature. Uh, as far as the taxes, 115 a month. Insurance, 80 bucks. In the show notes below, I've got a link to our farmer's insurance office. Anybody watching the show right now, I want you to click that because we will do everything in our power to lower your insurance premium on any of your rental properties. And I'm not talking just Ohio rental properties, guys. If you own properties in any of the 50 states, we will do our very best to lower that insurance premium for you because that's what we do. Insurance by investors for investors. Water sewer. As a landlord here in the Cleveland market, you got to pay for that. That's going to be about 150 a month. That is an uh, estimate. Some people, you know, take long showers. Some people take uh, short showers. Some people shower twice a day. Some people shower once every two days. Uh, that would make them kind of a savage. But, hey, man, it is part of the game. I've seen some nasty houses if uh, you don't believe me on how nasty some of these houses could be. Uh, when you're done watching this video, make sure you check out the Tennis from Hell show. I'll put a couple shows in the show notes below. Uh, from the Tennis from Hell show, I'll throw like a uh, highlight reel of some of the stuff we do on that show for you guys, um, for new viewers out there. Because, God damn, this game gets savage, baby. Anyway, lawn care. 
It'll average out to 44 bucks a month. We charge about, I think it's 33 maybe $34 a cut. I have to talk to my team, see exactly what we charge right now for a yard like this. 33 or 34 a cut, and we cut it approximately 18 times a year. This is Cleveland. Al, you know you're in New York, so it's cold there too. Uh, but, you know, folks out there in L.A., Vegas, Florida, you know, sometimes you all might not understand uh, – the weather up here, right? You're not used to the Midwestern weather, but, uh, you know, it's cold in the winter, uh, warm in the spring and the summer, so we only got to cut for part of the year. Uh, so that'll average out to four, four, uh, 44 a month or a total cost of 528 a year. Last but not least, we got property management, $130 a month for Holton Wise to do what we do. So scheduled to bring in 1300 a month with you budgeting for things that I know are going to happen, variable expenses and fixed expenses. On average, you should anticipate this property costing you to run 714. Um, after that, we have what makes sense, what's important, what really matters, and that is your NOI, and that is 586 a month on average. So you pick it up at 79.9. You make on average 586 a month. That means you'd be netting 7,032 a year, which puts this at an 8.8 .8 cap. However, you want to finance this, and I absolutely think you should. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, for all those those poor poor souls out there that invested with Morris, uh, again, the video, guys, is in the show notes. And what's really cool about that video, maybe you haven't invested with Morris, you never even heard about it, but you guys should check that out because what it does is at the end of it, we tie it all together and we explain to people how you can avoid being caught up in a turnkey scam, right? Um, and, a, and a big thing from that video and from a lot of the victims that spoke in that video, they were forced to buy properties in cash, Guys, number one, you should always want to finance your investments because you're quadrupling your money, right? Al, instead of paying 80 k you only got to put down $19,975, right? The bank's going to loan you the other $59,925. So that right there, you're quadrupling your money, quadrupling your net worth. The bank's loaning you the majority of the money for these properties, and the tenants are paying off your loans. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Uh, that's why I could be so blunt here on my show uh, and tell you guys about all the messed up shit that happens to property managers because I don't need to sell you guys on investing in real estate. If you're watching this show right now and, and you're waiting for me to convince you that you should buy rental properties, you can go fuck yourself. I don't need to do that. I don't care. People have been getting rich investing in real estate long before I've been alive. People have made hundreds of millions of times more money than I've made in real estate investing. It's a proven industry, so I don't need to sell the industry to you, man. So if, if, if you're watching this and you think that that's what I'm going to do, again, man, fuck off. I'm not, I'm not here to do that. I don't have to prove this industry to you. It's just obvious that uh, that's what it is. It's a proven industry. It's, uh, you know, they ain't making any more land, folks. So with that said, if you finance this thing after the tenants are paying off your mortgage, that's bringing you in $303 a month on average. And remember, you got the loan from the bank. The tenants are paying off that loan for you. In addition to that, how great that is, it still allows you to make a ton of money because that puts you at a net cash flow after your mortgage of 283 a month on average or 3396 a year, which is a 17% return on your money. That 17% return on your money should make you want to finance every single rental property you buy. But that, going back to that video again, that is not the only reason you should finance. And we talked about that in the video. Another reason you should finance is because it's going to say it's going to protect your ass. It's going to keep your ass safe. If you guys are out there, you're investing in these Midwestern markets, you know, Cleveland, Detroit, Indianapolis, Birmingham, Alabama, Kansas City, Missouri. I don't know. All these flyover states that you may or may not be familiar with. If you're being forced to pay everything cash, you could make some serious mistakes and you could drastically overpay for properties. Again, that's what a lot of the folks in the, the Morris documentary claimed happened to them. But if you finance it, remember I told you guys, the bank, they're bringing in the majority of the money. They're bringing in three-fourths of the money. The bank's going to protect you. Why? Because they're protecting their own interests. You're, like with this particular property, Al, you're only putting up $19,975. The bank is putting up almost sixty k. So who's got more at stake in this deal? You or the bank? The bank does. So they're not going to let you drastically overpay. They're going to go in. They're going to do an appraisal. So you grab yourself an appraisal, 
and you get yourself a third-party home inspection. These are the types of things you could do to ensure nobody's uh, rolling the, the wool over your eyes or trying to screw you over. Um, so at this particular property, though, man, solid deal. Love this deal. I think we need to go in hot, $79.9. Um, then, of course, you're going to want to make a contingent on inspection and appraisal. Be no problem with this thing appraising for that price. Again, I sold one down the street for 100 Granted, mine was nicer, um, but, you know, just know that you're getting a $20,000 discount, and, of course, you get $200 worth of additional rent that you can get. So when one of these tenants moves out, you're going to want to um, go ahead and make their units look really nice and get yourself $750. Speaking of that, before we move on to the next property, I didn't even show you the pictures. Let me show you the pictures of this thing. All right. Okay, backyard. Nothing special, right? This is just C-class investing. Like I said, if you want to get that 750, you're going to need to spruce up these units. There's no scenario where one of these tenants, when they move out, we're going to be able to do nothing to this particular unit and get you 750, right? We're going to have to spruce it up. So I would anticipate when that time comes, spending at least 5k per unit. But then again, once you do, man, you'll be able to get 750 a month out of each unit or 1500 a month. And like I said, the house I sold down the street, sold that bad boy for 100 k All right, let's go to a quick commercial break, and then I'm going to get into the second property I found for you. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. All right, Al, welcome back. Getting right into the second property, 4429 Alpha Ave, Newburgh Heights, Ohio, 44105. This one listed by a company called Plum Tree Realty, and they listed it for 84900 Another solid deal. I think we're going to need to be aggressive in price. Now, this one's actually going to pencil out to a lower cash-on-cash cash return than the previous property. However, I think this property is actually much nicer. Uh, I really like this one. This one has been taken care of very, very well. Let's read what the agent wrote. Turnkey investment opportunity in one of the best communities in Northeast Ohio. Now, it's a C-class neighborhood, okay? So that is a stretch. It's, it's C-class investing. You check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I've graded Newburgh Heights as a C-class uh, neighborhood. So that that's what it is. I, I don't know... It's not one of the best communities in Northeast Ohio because that's what the A neighborhoods are. Uh, but that said, it, it is a nice solid rental area. We have a bunch of duplexes in Newburgh. I like it quite a bit uh, for what it is, which is a C-class neighborhood. The village of Newburgh Heights uh, boasts unrivaled proximity to some of the area's best amenities, ease of access to the major highways, public golf, family recreation, and excellent city services. This property is city point-of-sale compliant with a new roof in 2017, newer furnaces, vinyl windows, a cool deck in the rear for entertaining, and dry basement. Great opportunity for someone looking to live in one unit while the other unit pays the mortgage. Or for the investor who likes clean and easy to manage properties at a great price will not last long. I agree it probably won't last long. I mean, this thing is is beautiful. Obviously, that agent, he's trying to sell the property, right? So he's, he's puffing a little bit. But that's all right. It's a solid deal, man. I, I like the deal. Uh, let's let's look at the photos because it's nice, dude. It's, it's really nice. Okay. Got that. that. That is a pretty cool deck. All right. Basement does look nice and clean. I mean, we got some newer mechanicals. That's the big ticket stuff. That is important. Now, this is the empty unit. Now, I don't know how much we're going to need to spend to get this totally rent ready. It looks pretty damn close to rent ready from these photos. Of course, when my team gets in there after you close on the property and we do our you know, safety checkup, make sure with a fine-tooth comb everything is ready to be rented by a tenant. We always find stuff. You know, They're doing things like making sure every single window open and closes, stays up on its own. They're checking for smoke detectors. They're checking for minor leaks. Just tiny little things. 
things that, you know, you and I are not going to be able to tell just looking at the photos. I mean, looking at this photo from far away, it looks great, but there's going to be cost to get a tenant in here, I guarantee. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to probably be negligible. It's going to be small. It's going to be minimal. You don't even really need to factor it in, but I'm assuming it's going to be there. In addition to that, of course, what will the general home inspector find? That remains to be seen, uh, but everything looks pretty good and pretty damn close to move in ready for that particular unit. Okay. Now, the other unit is already rented at 600 bucks a month. So, I left that in there and then for this particular unit, that's a nice ass unit, man, with tiny minimal cost, we'll be able to easily rent that for 750 a month. So, this will be bringing in 1350 a month or $16,200 a year. As far as the total renovation costs, I, it, it, I'm guessing like maybe a grand or two at most. I can't even really tell you though. I don't know because we haven't got in there, but it looks more or less turnkey. So $84,900 is probably all you're going to need to invest in this. Maybe we get a grand or two off on the purchase price. Maybe after the inspection comes about, there's a couple items of concern that maybe we can negotiate out with the listing agent and the seller. But more or less, I don't see you really being into this for any more than 84, 85 K. Now, <clears throat> bringing in 1350 a month, same stuff, you know, any, every single rental property, every C-class rental property, we got to account for our expenses. Repairs and maintenance, 67, vacancy and non-payment, 67, CapEx, 67. Now, we have a lot newer mechanicals on this particular property than the other property. So, brand new roof, right? Roofs on these duplexes, both of these duplexes are probably six, $7,000 roofs, okay? This roof's brand new. You're still going to hold on to that 67. You're still not going to count that as your return because you know eventually you're going to need to replace the roof. But the cool thing here, man, it's 2020. They put in a roof in 2017. That's three years. Roofs last about 30 years. So you got about 27 years of life left on that roof. So you'd be saving that $67 quite a long time for that big ticket item hits you. Same thing, uh, you know, they said newer furnaces too. So you got your furnaces. Furnaces run about 3 k and then hot water tanks run a K. Okay. Taxes. That's the one downside to this. The taxes are a little bit higher, so they'll be 176. Insurance should be 80 bucks. Again, anybody watching this, show notes below. I own a farmer's insurance agency. Click that. We will lower your rental property insurance. All 50 states. That's what we do. Insurance for landlords by landlords. Water sewer 150. Lawn care 44. Property management 135. Uh, 135. So I anticipate of that thirteen fifty, you on average, it's not gonna pan out like that every single month or every single year. There's gonna be ebbs and flows, there's gonna be variables, but a reasonable expectation would be spending on average seven eighty six a month to operate this sucker, which would bring you five sixty four in NOI, which would be six thousand seven hundred sixty eight dollars a year, bringing you at an eight cap if you paid cash. I don't think you should pay cash. I want you to finance it if you don't have a lender. Send me an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and I will get you my list of lenders. 30 year mortgages, guys. That's why real estate investing makes so much sense. You only need to put down 21225 Bank's going to loan you 63675 That would be a mortgage payment, teeny tiny, 322 which means after you pay off your mortgage, you should be able to bring home on average. Two forty two a month or two thousand nine hundred four dollars a year, which is a thirteen point six eight percent cash on cash return. I personally like both of these properties. Uh, if you're only gonna buy one, I would make my offer on the Newburgh Heights property first. Um, definitely super turnkey. I love the fact that the point of sale is already complete. You don't have to worry about that. Just so everybody's aware. In the show notes below. I have a video about point of sale. Uh, if you don't know what I mean when I say point of sale or you have no idea what that means, click that video. I explain the point of sale process. A lot of the municipalities in the Cleveland market, not Cleveland itself. So the Memphis property, the first property I talked about in today's show, this does not have any point of sale requirements. But Newburgh Heights has an incredibly strict point of sale process that you need to worry about along with other uh, suburbs like Garfield Heights, Euclid, uh, Cleveland Heights, a few more. So I explain what that whole process is in that video. Check that out. But you don't have to worry about it now uh, for this particular property because the seller has already cleared it off. So I would I would go with the Newburgh Heights property first if I could only buy one just because it's so much nicer. And as far as purchase price, I think we come in close to list uh, or, you know, we try maybe like 82, 83, something like that. Um, see where we land. Of course, we'll make a contingent on inspection and appraisal. 
Or if you want to go at the Memphis property, I think since that's priced lower, it's already got two tenants in there. People are going to jump on that. I think you need to just go in at list price. Of course, make it contingent on inspection and appraisal. Uh, my team will write those offers for you, so just let us know. Sales at HoltonWise.com. We'll also hook you up with home inspectors if you don't have your own. If you feel more comfortable just bringing in a random one that you know you introduce us to, that's totally cool with us too, man. It's your home inspector. You're the one paying for it. I want it to be as arm's length or as unbiased as humanly possible. That's what we do here at Holton Wise. We provide transparency. Everybody else who's watching this show, if it's the first time you ever watched Holton Wise TV, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button, number one. Number two, if you would like to work directly with me and my team, get a one-on-one -on -one analysis like I've done for my guy Al here. I want you to go to HoltonWise.com. Click the property search for sale button. Cruise right here to the MLS search and analysis show. First thing you should do before you buy yourself an analysis like this, though, go all the way to the bottom. These are the real-time MLS feeds. It's all about watching the content we put out here and figuring out what your risk tolerance is, right? I said earlier, there's nothing wrong with buying a ghetto property. If you know it's a ghetto property, you know the risks involved, you're paying the appropriate price to factor in those risks. If that's what you want, that's what you want. If you're like Al, you like C-Class, you don't want to be uh, in super risky stuff, but you want some cash flow, that's what he did. So what I did is I broke everything down by the asset class, A all the way to F, and I also broke it down by the type of investment you guys want, single family homes, multifamily homes like Al wanted, or uh, bigger stuff, right? Apartment buildings, five units and up. So match the type of asset you want with the level of risk you are comfortable with and get yourself some real-time MLS feeds for $29.99. And what that will do is every single time one of those properties that meets your criteria hits the market, you will get an email from me directly from my MLS system. This means you're going to get it before Zillow, before Trulia, Realtor.com, all that stuff. You're getting access to these properties the moment they become available so you know what's out there. And if you want, you can go ahead and bid right with the listing agents. That's totally cool. Or you can grab yourself an analysis like this, which you just want to scroll back up. Get yourself an analysis. I'll look into that property for you, or I'll find properties for you like I did for Al, and then my team can write your offer. We are Al Acart Services here at Holton Wise. We can provide property management after you close, or if you want, you can hire your own property manager. It's, uh, it's an Al Acart system here, guys. We have all the tools and resources available to assist you guys, so whatever you want from us, we'll provide. Whatever you want to provide on your own or through other vendors is totally cool with us. That's all I've got for you today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10 year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in house property management private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. 
As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.